Let me bring it home, for example. If, let's say, a Francophone African leader decides to pull out of the pact, by the way, they also print the money, the CFA. They print the CFA for all the Francophone African countries. France no longer even use the CFA, but they print it gladly for the African countries. France is using the euro. So if a leader starts wanting to be too smart, all they have to do is stop printing the money. And next thing you know, the locals are getting their paychecks, they're going to the bank, they line up, there is no physical cash. It's that easy to destabilize Africa. Food in most of the Francophone countries, close to 50% in some countries, the food is coming from France. If you start acting like you're too smart, they simply stop sending food. And before you know it, the shelves are empty. And the locals start demonstrating. And they'll be demonstrating and blaming the president. I am not saying our African presidents don't have any blames. Nobody's without blame. No country is perfect. No leader is perfect. I get that. But what I'm saying is, in order for us to make sure when we demonstrate, when we complain, we are complaining about issues that are truly matter to us not issues that we are being thrown into because somebody else has a different agenda. They're basically throwing a shiny object in one direction and we run after the shiny object when the real issue is over here. So what I'm talking about is like Africa is like a tree. The problems of Africa such as youth unemployment, uh, poverty, disease, starvation, those are the leaves on a tree, they're drying up. Today, this country has the problem. Tomorrow is that country. Tomorrow is, those are the issues. They're leaves, they're gonna come and go. The branches, they're gonna die, but they'll come back season after another. But until you address the issues of the root, this tree will always be a problem. For Africa, the root has to do with the Berlin Conference. We must be clear that the Berlin Conference is alive and well. A decision that was made 124 years ago remains alive and well today. In addition, after the Berlin Conference, they did something just as de deplorable. They set out to let the Africans believe everything African was bad and everything European was better and more desirable. That's the rule of divide and conquer. That's the legacy of colonization. Have you ever wondered why when you try to go home at the airport, if you travel with our brothers and sisters who happen to be Caucasian, they get better treatment by our own people? I was trying to go through the airport, I won't mention which country in Africa. I called the porter three times. The man would come and hang around. The minute I look another way, he's gone. I later found out from one of the porters that, ah, we are looking for, for the white people because they pay more. My own people are discriminating against me. Thanks to the Berlin Conference. Thanks to the legacy of colonization. Thanks to the rule of divide and conquer. Those are some of our realities. How do you address that? We must understand it. We must realize on an individual basis that we are suffering from this affliction. This affliction that is called the legacy of colonization and the legacy of slavery. Because what, for true healing to take place, for sustainability to take place, it has to start with a conversation with the image in the mirror. So when it's all said and done, our understanding of what is really going on in Africa, what is really making Africa end up where Africa is, is where we need to begin. So for today, I ask you to understand the Berlin Conference and its relevance to you today. Its relevance in your family today. Its relevance to your country and to your continent and to the world wherever black people are. So we got two issues, the legacy of slavery, the legacy of colonizations, two demons that we must fight, two afflic afflictions that we must accept that we suffer from, and let's make every effort to defeat those demons within us in order for us to truly represent our Africa when with full understanding of the issues. So as we look for a solution, our minds are clear and our minds are in the right place.